China's top five most advanced anti-ship ballistic missiles are no longer just technical concepts. They are now shaping how major naval fleets plan movement, distance, and presence across the Pacific. In this video, we break down each of these five systems one by one, explain how analysts reach their conclusions, and explore why their combined design matters far more than any single missile. The first two missiles in China's top five form the foundation of its long-range maritime strike thinking. These systems did not emerge as sudden breakthroughs. Instead, they gradually introduced ideas that reshaped how distance and movement are treated in naval planning, forcing analysts to reconsider long-standing assumptions about freedom of movement at sea. 1. DF-21D the DF-21D was the first publicly known ballistic missile specifically designed to address moving maritime platforms at extended distances. Its significance lies less in its raw range, commonly cited as exceeding 1,000 kilometers, and more in what it proved possible. By combining maneuverable reentry technology with terminal guidance updates, the DF 21D demonstrated that large surface fleets could no longer assume that mobility alone guaranteed separation. Analysts widely regard it as the system that shifted maritime strategy from proximity-based assumptions to distance-based risk management. Even without frequent deployment, its presence introduced a planning variable that could not be ignored, influencing how naval forces evaluate risk, timing, and positioning well before operations begin. Two. DF-26. The DF-26 expanded that concept dramatically. With an estimated reach of roughly 4,500 kilometers, it moved the discussion from regional waters to the broader Pacific. What sets the DF-26 apart is its flexibility. It has been associated with multiple payload configurations and evolving variants, including the DF-26D, which analysts believe focuses on improved accuracy and adaptability. Rather than replacing earlier systems, the DF-26 showed how long-range capabilities could scale outward, creating overlapping zones of influence that affect logistics, deployment routes, and operational timelines, particularly for assets operating far from their home bases. Together, the DF-21D and DF-26 established the core logic of China's approach. They showed that extended reach does not need constant use to be effective. Simply existing within planning models alters behavior, encouraging greater caution and earlier decision points. In this way, influence is applied quietly, shaping choices long before any visible action takes place. Once the foundational logic was established, the next phase focused on stretching limits. This is where the DF-27 and the sea-launched YJ-21 enter the picture each doing so in a very different way. 3. DF-27 The DF-27 represents the outer boundary of what analysts currently believe China is pursuing. With projected ranges estimated between 5,000 and 8,000 kilometers, it occupies a category rarely associated with maritime targeting. What makes the DF-27 especially influential is not confirmed operational use, but strategic implications. A system with this reach forces planners to consider coverage well beyond traditional engagement zones. Even without deployment confirmation, its development alone expands the conceptual battle space. Routes, timelines, and positioning models must adapt to the possibility of extended reach on a global scale. YJ-21 Surface and Subsurface Launch While the DF-27 expands distance, the sea-launched YJ-21 21 reshapes flexibility. Designed to fit within standard vertical launch systems, the YJ-21 can be deployed from modern surface vessels and submarines. This capability transforms conventional platforms into distributed long-range contributors rather than isolated participants. With reported hypersonic speeds and a range of approximately 1,500 kilometers, the YJ-21 shortens reaction windows while multiplying possible launch locations. What makes this pairing important is the contrast. The DF-27 extends the map outward, redefining strategic depth. The YJ-21 fills that expanded map with mobile points of influence. One reshapes geography, the other complicates prediction. Together, 
they move long-range influence away from fixed positions and toward dynamic presence. This evolution introduces a new planning reality. Instead of relying on static assumptions, decision-makers must now evaluate shifting coverage patterns that change over time. Flexibility becomes as important as distance, while uncertainty replaces predictability as a defining feature. Strategic awareness, persistent monitoring, and adaptive movement gain priority as operating environments grow less defined. In this context, influence is shaped not by constant activity, but by the continuous possibility of reach, creating pressure that exists even in moments of calm. The fifth missile in China's top five completes the architecture by adding altitude and rapid repositioning to the equation. This is where the air-launched variant of the YJ-21 becomes especially important. 5. YJ-21 Air-Launched Variant The air-launched YJ-21, carried by long-range aircraft such as the H-6 series, introduces a level of operational flexibility that surface and land-based systems cannot match. Aircraft can reposition quickly, approach from multiple directions, and operate with aerial refueling support that greatly extends endurance. Analysts estimate this variant has an engagement range of roughly 2,000 kilometers and maintains very high terminal speed. What sets the air-launched YJ-21 apart is not just performance, but integration. It does not operate independently. It complements land-based and sea-based systems by filling gaps and creating overlap. Where surface platforms provide persistence and submarines offer discretion, aircraft contribute mobility and adaptability. The air-launched variant also reinforces a broader trend. Platforms are becoming multipliers. Instead of concentrating capability in a few locations, influence is distributed across air, surface, and subsurface domains. This distribution complicates planning not through force, but through uncertainty. Decision makers must now consider not only where systems are, but where they could be next. Taken together, China's top five most advanced anti-ship ballistic missiles do not function as isolated tools. Beyond mobility, the air-launched YJ-21 benefits from the sensor and data-sharing environment that aircraft naturally inhabit. Operating at altitude allows these platforms to receive updated situational inputs, adjust flight paths, and coordinate timing with other systems more dynamically than fixed launch points. Additionally, aircraft-based deployment introduces variability in launch geometry, which complicates predictive modeling for observers attempting to assess coverage zones. The ability to pair this missile with extended-range aircraft operations, supported by aerial refueling, further stretches its practical reach without requiring new infrastructure. Over time, this flexibility supports experimentation, testing, and refinement, allowing planners to evolve concepts incrementally. In this way, the air-launched YJ-21 serves not only as a delivery system, but as a learning platform that feeds back into the broader architecture, strengthening coordination across domains. China's top five most advanced anti-ship ballistic missiles do not signal an abrupt end to existing naval concepts but they clearly mark a steady transformation in how influence, distance, and timing are managed at sea. Together, these systems show how layered reach, flexible deployment, and integrated awareness can shape decisions without constant use. Large naval platforms still matter, yet their options are increasingly shaped by expanded coverage zones and evolving sensing networks. The real takeaway is strategic rather than dramatic. When technology changes, when choices must be made, it reshapes outcomes long before anything visible happens. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.